Hey guys, welcome back to the Empire Plate. We're in Utica, New York. As you can see, it's a blustery, cold day. A couple weeks before Christmas, it's freezing actually. We're gonna go inside, but we're gonna go meet the cheese guy. He's got every cheese, it's a Mediterranean place. Olives, cheese, olive oil, everything you can imagine. Come on, let's go inside and see what they got. This is fig cake with almonds, anise, and cinnamon from Spain. Okay, we're starting the day over at Dominico's here in Utica, and we got some special guests today, but we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, each part in their uh, next door at the uh, cheese store. So Mike, nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Joe, good to see you, and Judy, good to see you. So Mike, let's start here with you. Now, this cheese thing, this, this thing is getting bigger and bigger, it seems like every time you're in town. So tell me a little bit about the history of your place and how you got started and, and, and a little bit about it. Well, I got started, my family grew up in the restaurant business and uh, we had a restaurant in Manhattan and after I sold the restaurant, uh, I decided I wanted to start importing. And uh, about 20 years ago, I packed up with the Europe, went to Greece and Italy, put together a couple containers of product, came here, back to New York, uh, got a warehouse in Yonkers, and I just started pitting all the stores in the Manhattan, Tri-State New York area, and I grew my business to a pretty substantial uh, an empire. I mean, it's, no, it's, no, pretty, no, no, it's no, huge. No, it's it's, it's no, like, no, for what no. you bring in, let me ask you this though, you don't get you don't get your normal tea, you travel all over the world. Well, I, tra no, I travel mainly to Italy, Greece, mm -hmm. France, Spain, Portugal, uh, I've been to Morocco a couple times, but the bulk of my products come from Spain, France, Italy, and Greece. Okay, those are the main... Those, the, those are my main four countries. And um, so about a year and a half ago, we just decided to just start a little, another little business called mm -hmm. Isle Depot Maggio, the Cheese Island. And just started to come up here and introduce all the different cheeses, because there are many di different cheeses up in, uh, throughout the world, right. to uh, Utica. And it's been going, uh, it's going pretty good. It's going pretty good, yeah. So what are some of the most popular cheese that you sell there? Well, the most popular cheeses would be uh, Taleggio, which is a wash rind cheese from the, the Alps of Italy. Uh, Manchego, Manchego with rosemary. Uh, some of the Goudas, the different Goudas, and, um, and you got some really good blue cheese that you've heard. There's, a, there's a blue cheese from Spain called Tecone, it's wrapped in sycamore leaves, that's a very popular cheese. Uh, Ubriaca, which is a cheese aged in red wine, very popular. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, you know, I always come up, with, I try to come up with a, uh, a different selection every right. time, besides from my, my staples. So, they can get a hold of you, I mean, they can go to your Facebook page. Facebook, yeah, I'll do for my job, the Cheese Island. Okay, so make sure you like that page, and, and, and Mike, and sometimes you put pictures up of some of the stuff you have, right. so people already know when they right. come in. Right. And I come up to Utica every other weekend, Okay. and I'm here at the other side, next to Cafe Dimension. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're open from 8.30 to 5 o'clock on Saturday, 8.30 to 2, uh, 2 p.m. on Sunday. Okay, good to know, good to know. So now, Joe, tell us a little bit about your bread and, and what you have uh, to offer. So, I, after I retired from my real job, I still wanted to do something, and uh, I started baking, mm -hmm. Just baking bread. And primarily what I bake is sourdough. Okay. And so my bread is very pure. I mean, the stuff that goes in it is the four things that have to go into bread, flour, water, yeast, and salt. Occasionally there's some other flavors in there. Mm -hmm. like I try to use very as local as I can in terms of ingredients. Mm -hmm. Most of my flour comes from over in the Finger Lakes region. And it's very fresh. I can go to the mill and pick it up and bake with it within just a few days after it's milled or a couple weeks after it's milled. This is good, gutsy eating bread. As far as I'm concerned, there's two food groups. There's bread and things that go on bread. Exactly. And that's why it's such a good match for me to be selling in the same place that Mike is selling his cheese and Judy's selling her sausages and other meats. Absolutely. So now you could be found, where could people find to get your bread if they wanted to get it? Well, if they want to buy it retail, mm -hmm. I'm only selling at the same time that Mike is there. Okay. 
every other Saturday and only on Saturday. Uh, only on Saturday. I can't sell on Sunday because I've baked for Saturday and I can't be home baking on Saturday for Sunday. For Sunday. So what you're getting from me is fresh on Saturday. Okay. Yep. So remember that Saturdays every time Mike is in, you can come and get your bread. And it's called the Needy Baker and you can find like his, me on Facebook, Facebook as well. That's right. Like his page and you can follow him there. Now, Judy, tell us a little bit about your farm and your meats. Well, we decided to start raising meat for ourselves. And we saw the need for the local product in this area. So we started to, you know, do some restaurants. And I decided, I met Mike, that I'd like to possibly do one retail outlet. And this is the only retail outlet that I do. Okay. My um, main business is restaurants. Mm -hmm. So everything that we grow is outside, pasture raised, and it's a nice product. It is. Yeah. Very good. And you're are you here Saturdays and Sundays too? I am here every other weekend with okay. Mike and Joe okay. on Saturday and Sundays. Perfect. Now, do you have a Facebook page that they can follow you on? Farms, yes. Okay. So make sure you like the page there. Um, this is a really unique thing. You can get your cheese, your breads, your meats all in one place every other weekend. Olive so, oils, olives. Olive oils, the olive oils, they got olives. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot more than just the cheese. And, and you'll see it uh, through some of the examples we're going to show you through the show today. So come down, check this place out every other weekend, like their pages and follow them. So I want to thank you guys again, Mike, thank Joe, you, Judy, nice thank you for uh, thank you. being on the show. Appreciate it. So yeah. why don't you tell me a little bit about some of the cheese you brought today? Some of the some of the special cheeses that people might not have ever seen before, or heard about. Well, this is uh, from Trentino in northern Italy. It's made with mountain milk. It's called Alta Badia. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, aged cow's milk. Stagionata means aged in Italian. It's aged uh, six months. It's got a smoky flavor to it, almost like Gruyere type uh, cheese. I have a Ubriaco made of goat cheese, Ubriaco means drunk in Italian. This uh -huh. is also from, from Northern Italy. That's 100% uh, goat. I also have a sheep's cheese. Right here, best oil, olive oil I've ever had. Always get it every time I come. Right there, delicious. We're gonna get this in. This is fantastic. Marinated, marinated octopus. Mike, I'm gonna try try a little piece of this, if you don't mind. I've never had it before. So here we got octopus, that, which, which I've never had before, and he says it tastes like calamad. I like calamad, so. It tastes better than calamad. It tastes be better than calamad. It says better than calamad, so we're gonna sample it. Mom, I mean, 8.30 in the morning, I'm eating octopus. Let's see. Marinated. It's marinated. It's tough, it's, it tastes good, it's different. Not bad, very good. Special guest, we got Santa Claus here. He is one of the, the best customers that come in here. Santa, tell us a little bit about what you get here when you come in here. Well, it's the Iron Deer for match, Santa Claus. Buono Natale first. Michael, he's got beautiful cheese over here. Why am I talking to Italian? Give me up. Well, we're going to be leaving here. Uh, I want to thank Mike once again for having us here today, Mike. Thank you very much, Bill. Awesome, awesome job today. I appreciate uh, you having this in, showcasing your place. And uh, if you haven't been here, come and check it out. He's here every other weekend. And uh, come and try some of his stuff he's got here. You'll love it. 
So I'm going to be leaving uh, today, but I'm Bill Vinci from the TV show, The Empire Plate. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Have a good night.